Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. The ACA filer can be a standalone module or integrated into AMS payroll. The ACA filer supports forms 1095B and 1095C along with the associated 1094 transmittal forms. These forms can be printed or e-filed to the IRS. Employee copies can be printed and distributed as long as the software generated forms is purchased. All copies can be printed on blank paper. For more information on the ACA requirements, please review the IRS Revenue Codes, Sections 6055 and 6056. This tutorial is an overview of the ACA Filer module and its various functions. To get started, open the 1099 ETC program. At the main menu, select ACA Filer. Each time a payer is created, a folder for that payer is set up in the work directory. The folder name will then be listed in this window. The base payer is used to set up default payer information, that is, information that will be the same for all new payers. Do not enter employee or form data in the base payer. Click Create New Payer. Enter a payer directory name. In the example, this will create a folder in the work directory called ABC Payroll. Click OK. Click Yes to create the payers directory. The folder name is now listed on the Select Payer screen. When selected, any data entered will be saved to this payers folder. Highlight the payer and click OK. From the ACA Filer menu, the payer information can be edited. Access the insured information, print reports, print or FL forms and perform a variety of options, which includes importing data. To get started click Pair. From this command, you can select a different pair, set up a password for the current pair or set up reminders. If reminders exist, they will display when the pair is selected. Click Insured. On the Insured screen, the employer information will only need to be entered once. It will automatically fill in for all other records. Enter the responsible individual's information and select the form either the 1095B or C form. Click the Add to Covered Individuals, if the responsible individual is also covered. Each form type requires different information. Enter the appropriate information. Now enter the covered individuals as needed. Double click on a blank line or the gray box at the beginning of the blank line. Enter or edit the information for the covered individual. If they were covered for the entire year, only check the 12 months box. Otherwise, check the individual coverage months. Repeat as needed to enter the covered individuals for this responsible individual. Click Add Record at the bottom to enter additional information. Click Reports. You can print three reports. Click Utilities. Use the utilities to sort or find records by name or SSN. Click ALE Members. Enter the ALE member information as needed. To enter either click the gray box at the beginning of the line or double click on the blank line. Repeat as needed and click OK when finished. Click Quit to return to the ACA Filer menu. From the ACA Filer menu, click Reports. There are two reports available, Covered Individuals, and Insured Detail. Click Forms. The Forms, 1095B and C Forms, can be printed using this command. Each form can be printed as Landscape portrait or portrait with instructions. You can also use this command to print the 1094 forms. Click e-file. Use the e-file command to e-file the ACA forms using file with services or the IRS AIR system. Slash VTMLS PPED. You can file either original or corrected forms. If using file with services, you can check the status of the information sent. When using the IRS AIR system, you will need to submit a test file first. 
And when you submit the files if there are errors you can use the review error, error file to see the errors. Click options. The options command is used to change the printer settings, email or save the PDF output, import and export data and back up the pair data. Here is a list of sub options available through file management utilities, other utilities or settings and import or export options. This is the end of the tutorial. For further assistance, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Or please refer to the help files for additional information. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 etc. program. Have a great day.